guys so it's Kiosha and welcome back to another video if you enjoy my videos please give them a thumbs up make sure you guys subscribe make sure you turn on that notification bell so you don't miss any more videos from me and without further ado let's just get into today's video all right you guys so you can tell from the title of today's video we're doing a spring and summer refresh of my master bedroom i am so happy to do this i've been waiting since time change in april and the days started getting longer and warmer but i had to deal with some other stuff like a prom my daughter did go to the prom that video will be out soon but if you follow me on my instagram you got a sneak peek on my stories of her makeup it was absolutely stunning i cannot wait for you guys to see that video but i digress we're talking about my bedroom so my house is atrocious but my bedroom is about to be serene and light and airy and beautiful for the spring and summer season and i just cannot wait so if that's something you guys want to see then keep on watching all right so i am in my bedroom like i said and we are about to start my spring and summer reset of my master bedroom so you already saw friday i went ahead and rotated my mattress i washed my sheets and switched them over i cleaned my ceiling fans i had um vacuum cleaned the floor i don't need to wash my sheets because i actually did already wash them and dry them this morning sorry y'all missed that part but y'all seen people wash and dry stuff before right right so we did wash and dry them this morning and i actually just put them back on the bed so we're good to go with that but I, we do need to pull off like my duvet cover my winter quilts and things and we need to switch over and pull out all of my summer capsule bedding pieces if you're new here i am trying to become a minimalist and so i like to use um my bedding for multiple seasons so fall and winter usually has the same bedding um except around thanksgiving i will change out like the blanket and then around christmas i'll change out the whole look of it just for christmas but i do try to be very minimal because i have limited storage in my home so therefore i don't want a lot of bedding where i don't have anywhere to keep it so i have to be very strategic <laughs> where i keep it now which you'll find out in this video um so I just do duvets so I can switch out the look of my bedding without actually having a bunch of comforters that are big and bulky. And I know you can buy the vacuum bags, but the vacuum bags still only can condense so far and I am still very limited on the storage that I have. And if you guys don't know, I live in a manufactured home. They don't have a lot of storage, okay? So that is what's going on with that. But we are in the bedroom. And so we are going to start by stripping the bed. What I love to do is strip my bed of the current season's comforters quilts um duvet covers the decorative like covers to my pillows that i switch out and i like to wash them i always wash whatever i'm taking off and transitioning from one season to the other i like to wash it and have it ready so when i am ready to switch over i don't have to wash it i don't have to wait for the, the wash and dry and then do all the things it's already dry and ready to go and put away ready for the next season and that also just helps the the smells of you know when you in your bed you know you sweat and you got icky stuff coming off of you and that's why you should wash your bedding i don't want to store that and then have it just like soak all into my bedding for a whole season or two or three before i pull it out again and then i have funky linen so i love to wash my linens before i um put them away and store them until i'm ready to use them again so let's go ahead and start stripping the bed and getting everything down and then we'll get it in a pile and we'll get it into the washing machine so i can go ahead and be start washing and by the time we get through with this process one set should be done and probably drying and then the other set will be going into the washing machine so let's do that <laughs> what i love about this duvet cover is that it has like the little corner ties to help keep your your um inserts in place i did pick up this duvet set from casa luna line my favorite line for linens at target if you have never um purchased anything from the casa luna line i highly highly recommend um they have amazing pieces and they stand up i've had this beautiful linen blend heavyweight um quilt i mean duvet cover for about two or three years and it looks just like the day i bought it like stunning 
love it i do like to stuff my duvets with two comforters i just like for my bed to be fluffy and feel like the pillow um effect that you get when you're in a hotel went online and searched like how to do it and a lot of people suggested trying to put in two inserts to see if that's what you're looking for and plus i sleep much better when i have something weighted on me and instead of buying a weighted blanket and adding more pieces to my bedding capsule um i decided to just do two that way it can be stored inside of the duvet because if i don't want to use the weighted blanket then i will have to find somewhere to store it and this is the best of both worlds But you do have to get like a heavy down comfortable comforter or something that's not lightweight. I'm cold blooded so it doesn't matter that I'm using something heavy during spring and summer anyway. So it doesn't bother me. I don't get hot like that when I sleep. So it's perfect for me. But if that's something that is different from you then by all means don't do this. So that is everything off of the actual duvet. This is the actual blanket, so we'll move them over. All right, like I said, so I'm always cold, so I do have a heated blanket <laughs> on my bed, but I do put it away for spring and summer. I do not um, have it on during that time because it's warmer in the house. It's warmer outside, so it's not necessary. Um, and then I have this big, like, brown colored quiltlet that I love as well that we're going to take off. And get ready because I have a spring and summer quiltlet that I like to use um, in a white color. So like I said, my bedding is already super fresh. But we're going to refresh it with my linen spray. We're going to make the bed up nice and beautiful. And then we're going to get out my quiltlet set. Um, what I love about this process is so simple and fast. I do like to prep because I don't want to spend all day doing this. I want to get it done and have my room looking really, really nice. I am missing a couple of pieces and I'll tell you what I think I'm missing a little bit later. But let's go ahead and get this bed made up and looking decent. And then I'll kind of tell you what I will be purchasing that I am missing. It's only like one or two things. It's not nothing major, but it will make the look of my bed different if I don't have those items for the way that I like to style my bed. I'm going to spray down my bed with the Casa Luna Reflection. It has lavender and cashmere to welcome st stillness. You guys know I love to like have lavender scents on my bedding. It's very calming. It's very soothing and that's what I like for my room. Come into my room and feel like calm and serene and just at peace and so I try to have smells and textures and um, looks and um, cleanliness to bring that effect to me every time I step into this room. So that's what I strive for on a daily basis is to have a calm, serene, smoothing, neutral room that will bring me peace and I can just chill out and relax in here. tricks I learned is to store my bedding into the pillowcase that comes with the bedding. So this is the white quiltlet set that I like to use in the spring and summer. It's stylish but it's still very lightweight but it also gives me an extra layer in case I get a little chilly when the AC is on. And so I just take the actual bedding after I wash it and dry it and I fold it up nice and neat and then I store the pillowcase, the extra pillowcase because it comes with two and the actual quiltlet inside of one of the pillowcases and then I store it away and so that kind of leaves you with a very compact way of storing your um, bedding pieces especially when you don't have a lot of storage like me so I have to think you know outside the box and figure out how to store this stuff away even though I want it so I do have these two pillows here um one thing i did not think about is that i have two big pillows and i don't have a cover for them so i'm gonna have to use either not use these pillowcases and keep these ones that are just plain that go with the sheet set 
um because i'm definitely going to keep my silk ones on here for my hair purposes just in case my body comes off at night and need to have a silk bedding or use the one from the duvet but the duvet is a king size so i'll have the two king size pillows i think we're going to do a little bit more texture so if i want to do a little bit more texture um i think i'm going to go ahead and use the quiltlet ones and then take these off because i'm not buying no more pillows that part <laughs> Like I said, I have to be really creative on how I store my bedding because of limited storage. So this basket that my mom gave me is one of the ways that I store it. So I just put a nice decorative blanket on top of it just to make it look really nice. Um, but actually inside of here is my bedding. So I have my other quiltlet set that I use sometimes in the fall and winter. I have my Christmas bedding in here that I had this previous Christmas. And then down below here is my actual white um, duvet set that we're going to put on for spring and summer. So that's basically how I do it. So then I'll just put everything back in here. When I washed the other duvet set in the quiltlet, it will go in here as well. And then I just push it back until then. And then I just put the blanket on there. And it's nice and a decorative and you'll never even know so <laughs> use baskets as storage because they're very aesthetic pleasing but they also like i said can store your items and nobody will right know. once again stored the duvet set into the actual pillows that came with it or the pillow covers that came with it what i love so i'm not somebody who likes to steam uh what else you call it um uh, iron any type of bedding so i always get something that's textured so you can't tell i ain't doing it so to each his own these are my like three little pillow covers that i keep on my bed so i do i did pick these up from amazon last year so i stored those in there as well so got those three can't see it because it's white you'll see it in a minute um and so we're just going to go ahead and pull out <laughs> The stuff and use it. Oh, forgot I had an extra one. So they come in packs of two, and I only have three pillows. Get this out of here. And the texture on this is absolutely stunning. I love having different textures on my bed, especially since I layer so much. So when you pull it back, you always have something different. Like if I want to pull it back, I pull back my um, actual, what do you call this thing? Quiltlet, it'll have texture. So this is the texture of this one from Target. The cost of, I think this is from Target. I don't think this one's from Target. Let me stop lying. Hold on, where is this one from? This is a uh, D-O-C-O Docofil White. is made in Portugal. I think I got this one from tj maxx or marshall i think i couldn't find the white linen version of that uh cream one so when this one gets old 
because I don't think this one's going to last as long as the Target. I'll re-up with the costume one, one in Target, but until then, we're going to use this one. But this is the texture of it. Can you guys see? Maybe not. It's such a bright day today. Oh, there. That's a little bit better. You see the texture? So this is definitely something I don't have to iron because we're not ironing or steaming or any of that. Okay, no. So let's put the pillows in first. And then I will show you guys my trick to get my actual... Um, comforters inside of my duvet because I know for a lot of people and for me until I found this trick on the internet um it was very frustrating trying to get duvets the the inserts inside of the duvet like it was so annoying and now it literally takes me like maybe five ten minutes at the most when it used to take me almost an hour trying to get everything in there and get it right I'm just trying to get the pillows down in here so first thing first is to move everything out of your way. So I push the couch back so I can have easy access to the foot of my bed. I need to get everything off the bed, like the pillows and anything that I'm not going to put in there. Not the bedding itself, not the quilt wet because that's not going to affect anything. But I need to get these pillows off of here and my actual covers to my other pillows off the bed. Right, so once you've done that, you will turn your duvet on the inside out okay so it needs to be on the wrong side I should have stored this on the wrong side if I was thinking or is it already on the wrong side did I store it on the wrong side am I a G I'm a G y'all I stored it on the wrong side all right so once you have it on the wrong side you need to store you need to put it on the bed with the opening at the top of the bed or the bottom of the bed depending on which way you roll i always roll from the bottom up so i like to put mine at the top of the bed because you need to end the rolling needs to end at where the opening is so if you roll from the top and the opening's at the top you're not going to be able to do it so make sure you have it set the correct way so then you're just gonna put it out lay it flat on the bed it doesn't have to be meticulous but it has to be you know, even or whatnot. And so I'm gonna have to move these pillows out of my way. All right, quick. Um, just make sure everything is smoothed out. And not necessarily even, but even. Like, this isn't even enough. So let me move this over just a tad bit more. Like I said, it'll be a lot easier if there was a way to tie it to the inside of the actual um, comforter itself or du duvet. So like I said, it would be a lot easier if you could tie it in the duvet itself. But what I like to do is I used to have hair ties and I didn't. I don't know where they are now and I would tie at least the two duvets together so they would say. So bottom right tag should always be at the bottom right of your bed so you know that they're the right way so you're just going to take everything else and try to lay it out as evenly as possible on top of the, du the duvet itself so take everything make it as even as possible and for me i do buy a king duvet for a queen bed because I like for mine to be bigger than my bed. But you can buy a queen if you have a queen. It's just up to you. That's my preference. But you can do whatever you like. Okay. So I think that's as even as we're going to get. And then you start rolling it up like a burrito basically. So you will get the duvet here. And there and you're literally going to start rolling it and pulling it as you roll it so roll burrito style roll burrito style roll roll keep it as neat as possible the neater it is the easier to be opening 
It's down here at the bottom where you want it. I'll bring you a little closer so you can see. See a little bit closer. As you can see, the opening is here. This is where we want it. This is the wrong side. This is the right side. So what you want to do is, and this is going to take a little muscle power. <laughs> you have to take the end of the burrito, as I like to call it, and stuff it inside of this side. So like go here and stuff it in there. So we're trying to get it in there. You may have to pull a little bit from the other side. So you're just going to stuff it in. Stuff it in. Stuff it in. And I'll show you again on the other side. So you see, you're stuffing it inside of the duvet. Like that. And see on this side, you have the now the burrito opening is not on this side. It's on this side. So we're going to do it again on the other side. Like I said, so you just have this little opening here. From the inside of the actual duvet and you want to take the burrito in <laughs> as i like to call it um and stuff it inside of the duvet so you see now you stuffed it in get it all the way in there every little bit and then you have like this little thing here so that makes sense you have that right so now it's inside of the opening and the opening was on this side and now the opening is on this side and that's what we want so the opening is on this side all the way down all right now that you got both sides of the burrito stuffed you're going to take the duvet and like walk it up to the front of your bed so just put it up there put this side up there and now you're just going to roll the burrito out you're literally just going to roll it out and as you are rolling it, I think y'all are a little crooked. Okay, let's fix y'all. All right, and as you're rolling it, you're pulling, you're pulling the burrito like apart. <laughs> this is what I would call it. So you're gonna roll it down, and as you roll it down, you have to pull out the ends of the duvet. And I like to go from side to side just to make sure I do it evenly. All right, and when you get finished, your inserts are inside of the duvet. Maybe not as neat as they could be because there's no tie in here. So I'm gonna kind of show you what I would do to try to make sure it's as together as I want it to. So I'm gonna reach inside, take the corners of the two inserts, make sure it's at the corner of the duvet here and hold it on that side and then do the same thing on the other side kind of straighten them out a little bit like that and once i have that together i will kind of shake it to get it to lay flat like i want it to so that all the bedding is pretty uniform. There's no lumps and bumps because of the two duvets not being closely together. And that kind of helps. So see now you don't see any lumps or bumps in it. It looks nice and smooth and flat. You don't want to see like big lumps in it and things like that. You want it to be as nice and smooth as possible. And if you see it's not, then just keep on shaking. Over there is a little bit of lump. So I'm going to shake again. Down this side. And now we have it nice and smooth. Looking really good. Really nice and refreshed for spring. I'm so excited, you guys. And now I will just button up the buttons at the bottom. My other one has a zipper. This one has buttons, so I'm just going to button them up. We have a nice, beautiful duvet with a beautiful texture. Once again, I spray at each layer just because I love the scent of it. Just to make sure everything has it. But now we can just bring our duvet down like we like it. Since everything is put together and ready to go.
You see how nice and flat that is? That's what we're looking for. And pull it up a little bit more. A little bit here. That. So that looks really, really good. Nice and clean, right? I love it already. All right, guys, we have the duvet on. Let me know if you're going to try that trick out or if you've ever done it before. For me, that's been a game changer because I was like I'm not getting a duvet because I hate trying to put a duvet on but now that I've learned that trick it doesn't take no time at all and I'll be doing it forever so let me know if you try it out or if you ever done it before and did it work for you but moving on so I said I was going to be having minor things that would be missing from my bed this week that I'm doing but we always refresh throughout the season of course um so the one of the things is my big like euro pillow so these I got from Target and it is a removable cover, but I don't have a white version to go with my white bedding for um, spring and summer. And this is just too much of a contrast for me in order to put back there, even though this those beiges accents are all throughout my room in the spring and summer. I like to have like different textures of white so you won't see any nothing but white different textures of white on my bed and that's just the look i like for spring and summer so i'm about to go on to amazon and see if i can find a cover like i did for the other one so i'm gonna go on amazon today because i gotta order some stuff anyway that needs to be here next week so i'm gonna go on amazon and find me some pillow covers and so we'll probably put these on the bed next week you'll see it in a vlog or something so the next thing to do is change the covers on these like cream colored or beige colored pillows so i did buy some on amazon uh last year what i love about these they zip open and zip close and so i can just store them inside of the other set when it gets finished washing and it's as simple as pulling the insert out so i'm just going to store these away when the other duvet set gets finished washing and drying i will put them in there with it so they'll all be together for next season the ones i bought from amazon look like this this one's like a feathery one with some geometric shapes last year i only used one of these and two of the other ones so i think i'm gonna switch it up this year i think i'm gonna use these two um as this the the focal and then this one to be the opposite with the pom-poms so last year i had this one with the pom-poms as the two on the bed and then one of these so we're going to do the opposite two of two of these and one of these and we will store the other one away until next time pillows together for the most part to put everything on the bed I'll put the euro on there when I get the covers I'm just not trying to throw off the vibe today <laughs> so we're just gonna stack up what we have right now get those on there Y'all, I just love a crisp white bedding. I just don't know why. And a lot of people say they can't do white bedding because it get dirty. I find that it doesn't get as dirty as you think it does because I thought that also. And I was like, I'm just going to try it and see. And it doesn't get as dirty as you think it's going to get. And even if it does, that's why you have a washing machine. Okay, wash your stuff. So that's why I say you have a washing machine. If it gets dirty, just wash it. So I did fall over the duvet so it is a little bit more polished and finished and to finish it off you guys know I love my big cable knits from the Casa Luna line and of course of course I have a white one that I stored in the basket you guys saw that was next to my mirror so I've been waiting there all fall and winter patiently to be brought back out in the spring and summer so I'm going to it took me a lot to get this styled inside this basket so <laughs> We're going to have to style the other one inside of it too for spring and summer. But the final kicker besides my Euro pillows is to get this on the bed and get it styled up nice and beautiful.
All right, as you can see, you have the texture of the actual duvet, and then you have the texture of the knitted blanket. And if you come up, you have the texture of the actual quiltlet along with the pillows here, the decorative ones, and the actual pillows themselves. So the king and the silk and the uh, quiltlet. And then when I get the Euro shams, I'll probably get something smooth for the Euro shams. But I'm really loving this all white bedding look. It just changes the vibe and the look of the room. I love how this white here is not super stark white, but more of like a creamy white. And it goes really good with the bed itself. So it doesn't look out of place, but everything else is pretty much stark white. And I actually like that. So I might try to find this color for the Euros. Maybe this creamy white, off white kind of thing. So it brings everything together and kind of balance it out because I do not change my lap shades because they are like a, a beigey color. So that also kind of balances it out as well. So I really, really am loving this and it'll be really popping when I get my Euro shams. But for now, I am loving how it looks. What do you guys think? Do you use white in your bedding? Is it something you like or you just think it's just too much to maintain? I love it. Okay, so that's the end of this spring and summer bedding refresh it was super simple and easy to do like I said for things in my home I think of a lot of different ways that I can use the same item over and over again I also think about storage and I also think about how does it fit in with the current decor that I have within my home I'm definitely very selective and picky on the things that I bring into my home now especially since I'm time to declutter and get rid of a lot of things I don't want to continuously have to buy things over and over again so I like to get good quality pieces that I can interchange and use throughout many seasons so if you guys enjoyed this video please make sure you give it a thumbs up make sure you guys subscribe make sure you turn on that notification bell so you don't miss any more videos from me and I will see you guys in my next video bye